What's up, Samurai? We are back some more Troll to Trove, and oh my god, out of the new Trove update that's going on in the test server currently, this is probably going to be the big one that everyone's really excited for. I haven't experienced this area for myself, but I have seen some screenshots, and I have heard a lot of feedback from it, and I think that the devs are finally delivering on what we've always wanted. Delves, Shadow Towers the marriage of the two now unfortunately they aren't doing this with every single delve portal which does kind of suck but there is going to end up being the new castle catastra biome so i'm excited to check this out it seems i can end up crafting quite a few of these which uh i'm gonna end up doing um there is a patch notes that we will end up reading through but i thought that it would be interesting for us to first just go through this uh, and check it out for ourselves, see what it's like, because I'm really, really excited for this one, dude. Like it just, it looked really, really cool. So unfortunately, okay, I can choose the difficulty. Um, what does it say also as well? Oh, so it says the different type of biome that it is and then chance for personal loot chests. Okay, whatever. Anyways, let's just rush into the portal at 115 depth because I don't care. We're not trying to find difficulty. There's going to be new bosses. There's new mementos that you can end up grinding out of this. But most of all, it's going to be the aesthetic of it. Which looks the exact same. <laughs> why, why is it caves? Don't. Oh. Oh. Oh, it's only every third portal, isn't it? I was getting super excited. Ah, oh, great. Let me, all right, let me grind to the third floor. Okay. Are you guys ready for what should, in my opinion, be the replacement of the Delves? Seriously, dude, take a look at this. Devs. Please just make this replace the normal Delves, dude! Like, it's so hype! This is so much better! We've talked about this countless times during our live streams, always talking about how the Delves should be replaced with an actual functional dungeon. In fact, be like the Shadow Towers, because this is what players want, dude. This is what we've all been waiting for. Th this just looks absolutely amazing. This, in my opinion, is what the Delve should be. So it seems we got Cat Eye Gemworld. We got a new currency. Um, seems, yeah, there's a lot of new currency here. Is this a new resource as well? I don't know. What about you, you stupid idiot? Quouter Master Griff or whatever. Okay, so he costs the new currency, uh, which we can buy for inert geode. I like that. I don't know why you would. Oh, there's a new inert geode wallet. I like that. Okay, mount upgrade. Delve usable. What? Consume to permanently upgrade your current equip mount, allowing it to be used in private and challenge delves. This better be. Okay. Reset seasonally. Seasonally? That's insane, bro. That's actually insane. That's such a unique and cool mechanic. Are you serious? So we could take Volatile Bounder. We could take Gonda. We could take any mount that we want and basically just go, you can be used in the doves now. Dude. Dude. That's actually so hype. Consume to permanently upgrade your currently amount, uh, allowing it to be used in private and challenged delves. What's the difference? Private and challenged delves. Yeah, what, what's the difference between these two? One of them is just cheaper. Oh, because these are three. Okay, okay. These are three that you can buy and then they're permanently out of the shop forever. Whereas this is an overpriced one that you can buy once and then it'll reset seasonally, which means four times a year. That's pathetic. Uh, and then the cat eye itself with res resets weekly. 999 inert geo just for 99 of these cat eyes and you need thousands of them Ooh, i don't know how i feel about that i wonder if there's a new tome that goes with it i mean we can still gather these and at the very least it is still a resource that we can gather so that means free to play players will be able to experience it um we seem to be getting like one to four cat eyes maybe we can get like five at a time or something, but empty rooms of creatures, dude. I'm telling you devs, I'm telling you, if you want to end up earning the respect of all of the players back, please just add this. Like, God, dude, 
This is so cool. This is what the Delves needs to be. The the details here is actually really, really nice too. Like, I mean, I think I'm also just sold on it because anything that's got the neon green, I just love it. I think if they added purple in here, that would just be a dream come true, but that's just because that's my favorite colors. Um, this to me, this feels right. Like this totally feels like what the Delves should be from here on out, not just every third portal. So here's one of the newer enemies. Hello, you disgusting creature. Wow, dude. Yeah, this looks great. Wait, what the? Can I actually cheese my way out of here? Oh, it's barriered. Okay, good, good. Like that, that's another thing where we've talked about this many times. They need to have the area be more open and just use invisible blocks to block everything. Like the, the, the other thing that I think would immediately make the delves more appealing is if even if they ended up removing all of the walls and still had the cave, but then just made the walls invisible so that it would actually feel like an end game area where you're just going across like floating islands and stuff, you know? But this, I mean, I was not expecting this. I don't know why I'm going for this currency. I really shouldn't be, um, especially it being on the test server. There's no way I'm gonna uh, grab all of them. Do they get affected by the vacuum? Yes, they do. So that's very, very nice. Thank you. This is so like genuinely awesome, dude. Like I'm just, I'm, I'm kind of speechless. Like, I don't know if this is going to end up being the update that brings players back kind of thing. Oh, that's so cool, dude. See, even though it looks like crap out there, I appreciate the fact that they have the windows and actually like made it something like this, you know, like this just, it looks so good. It genuinely looks sh so good. Like shadow towers are back in a very, very convoluted way. <laughs> oh God, I genuinely just, this really makes me wish that this was like, oh, is that a turret? That's a turret. This genuinely makes me wish that this was just the delves being completely replaced. Like g seriously, dude, I like all these undead cat guys. I don't know why they're going for this theme of all this undead cat stuff especially when this is clearly going to end up being uh, part of the summer update, not a Halloween update. But I mean, having me as a character in this game, I'm down. Cause you know, all the Grin Reaper and Scythe stuff. Um, fun fact, used to have cat ears on my logo way, way back in the day, but that was an extremely long time ago that nobody remembers. Those are the dark days. Um, I don't see any like new class, by the way. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I just wanted to bring attention to that just because some people might have been asking. But yeah, there is supposed to also be new bosses as well. I should start skimming forward here and uh, I'll kind of turn the uh, turn the HUD off just so that we can experience the beauty of this area. See, a lot of these dungeons are just the same copy and paste uh, or a lot of the rooms. Oh, my dear God. What am I looking at? That's actually nightmare fuel. I like that. That guy looks so cool. <laughs> like, oh my God. I really like that enemy. I genuinely really like it, but, but I'm just saying, okay, so I'll stop gushing. What I'm saying is so crazy to me about this is even though it's just kind of the same, like four rooms repeating. Look how much better this is over the delves, like over those disgusting caves. It makes me throw up just thinking about it. Like if there's one thing that I could tell the devs is lean into this. This is what the delves need to be. I know, I know, I know that you guys and gals put so much work into the caves and all the geode and all that stuff. Nobody likes them. Nobody, nobody likes them. Anyone who says that they like the delves is lying. Okay. Like you can go ahead and like the grind of it, the aspects of it and how it actually plays out, but nobody likes the aesthetic of it. Okay. New boss time. Oh, oh, this is such a nice arena, dude. Shadow towers are back, man. This looks so good. What the? Whoa. Okay. Weird poison web things. All right. Let's see. What do we got here? What are you? Hello? Why are you not looking at me, bro? <laughs> Who is this guy? All right, hide player. Just cause uh, I want to get, I want to get a good screenshots of this guy. It's just, just because even though he's shooting at me. 
All right, let's see what happens when I destroy you, because that's what's going to happen. You're going to get destroyed. Like, get out of here. Okay, uh, noticing a couple new things. What is this? Sorry, you took too long to reach the... Oh. <laughs> yeah, I took too long. I was admiring the craftsmanship, okay? <laughs> Leave me alone. <laughs> oh, Boxo Nine Tails. That's a new thing. Uh, anything else new nearby? Doesn't look like it. Okay, so what is this? It's a new crafting table. Okay, so we got a fees key used to unlock reinforced gemerald caches found within the halls of the cast. Okay, so there's random chests that can spawn in here or there's caches that we can get as an item drop. Uh, I don't know what the oh weird. Uh, I don't know whether or not I ended up getting any of those caches. I'm not seeing any of them, but okay, whatever. And then we can end up crafting the table itself. Good, 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 good. It costs a thousand and inert geode. That's pretty brutal. The rest of the resources are fine. 250 for one key. That's a bit steep. Yikes. Uh, and then there's Castra's collectibles. So we've got this ally right here, Friendly Fiona. All of these are going to cost the Gemerald Eyes, of course. Uh, increases drop increases drop chance of the cat's eye gemeralds when defeating creatures within the, the specific delve biome that's cool i like that okay the recent event uh that we have on the live server at the moment currently ends up having allies that do that so i think it's cool that they are utilizing that feature uh and actually taking advantage of it for like a functional aspect of the game uh, then there's going to end up being this one right here where we can get the little crawly creepy eyeball thing as a, as a creature. Gives a small chance to acquire cat's eye gemerals when mining, shapestone, formicide, or infinium in adventure worlds. Ooh. I wonder if that can be exploited. <laughs> I mean, exploited. Like, would it still do that if you used bombs and didn't use laser man? See, because my God, people are going to be mining like crazy after they get this. That's pretty cool, though. Uh, and then there's going to be this, which, God, I wish I missed the good old days when I could just tell the devs, hey, can you give me these things so I can show them off on the test server? Those days are dead, unfortunately. Uh, and I'm not going to grind 15 to 20 hours worth just to get these items uh, on the test server and then lose all my progress. Gives a small chance to acquire cat eye gemerals when completing dungeons in Adventure Worlds. Um, I don't like that these allies are useless outside of their passive. I would like to see them actually have some decent stats because otherwise, like, I don't know how often I would use this while completing dungeons in adventure worlds, but at the very least, you know, it does have the functionality and that's something that I can appreciate. They're all very, very expensive, but this is just going to be another resource to grind. So it's not that bad. Um, Crafting speed 25 useless when uh, when equip unlocks the ability to craft additional cat's eye gemeralds at the box o nine tails table Okay, that's kind of a weird one uh, And then we've got this guy right here, which is very very expensive greatly increases drop chance of gemerald eyes when defeating creatures within this biome Okay, so don't even bother getting this one. I Guess it is pretty cheap though. It's like less than half but I already have like 140 just from doing this one dungeon. So that would mean, yeah. So it would entirely depend on what you wanted to do. I think that, oh, never mind. It costs Ashen Souls. Okay, that's not worth it at all then. Um, just because that's such an expensive resource. And then this is just wild cupcakes. That doesn't make any sense. Um, I think that it would be more beneficial to get this ally first and then continue doing the delves because otherwise this guy right here is going to take like 14.3 uh and based on the drop rates that i got in this current world it would take uh basically 14 extra delves of the castra area and then it looks like we've got a very very cursed mount which i really really like that i don't like that it costs the memento because these unfortunately are timed uh, you know, they have a time limit before they expire and unfortunately that means that if people got this day one They won't be able to craft the mount. No, it's actually very very cheap. I like that Devs we need more things like that where it's cheap But it's still difficult to get because you got to get the memento in the first place I like that a lot and then there's going to end up both of these glide 
that's cursed. Uh, and then there's this guy, which this one, see, now this I don't like because it costs an insane amount of gem worlds, which makes me think that this is a mistake, like a typo. They meant to put an extra zero there. Uh, the reason why I don't like this is because you could potentially get this memento with your first boss kill and then somehow before the memento expires in three hours, you would have to get up to 5,000 because otherwise it just goes to waste. And that's, you know, that's no fun. Uh, then there's also a couple decoration items. So these all I assume are going to cost the exact same. Yes, they do. And they're not really super exciting. Like it's kind of just these stones as overgrowth, which is still cool. Like, I like how this ties together the Balefire theme, you know? Because there's so many things in Trove that already do this. But yeah, I mean, this single-handedly, this will make me play the Delves. Like, this this is genuinely one of the coolest updates I've ever seen to Trove. I just feel like, I, it's like, the only disappointment I feel with this update is I wish there was more. Like, I wish this was everywhere not just one specific biome you know i guess we'll just call it here you guys can sound off in the comments of how cool or not cool you think that this is i think it's fantastic um i'll read through the patch really really briefly here just to kind of talk about uh, uh uh some of the things that come with this biome so they're talking about there being three different bosses and one of them in particular drops the castle castra biome memento three furious fiona depth stepper matchmakers can be purchased from roca tan in the delves building in the hub so that's costing uh real life credits so real money useless um a castle catastra depth stepper which spawns uh furious fiona can uh but with more often spawn balefire dragon or lowly caretaker can be crafted at the delves workbench i see so they have it so that Certain ones of these portals will spawn more one boss in particular more commonly uh, For players who have consumed a furious Fiona memento a furious Fiona depth stepper can be crafted at the delve workbench on Fridays Gross found under the daily memento gateways. Okay, so cool I guess just make sure you hop on Fridays for that They do mention that the gem worlds will actually be affected by delve day really Okay then the art just isn't showing it properly, but that's cool. So if we got 140 and then we get like double that, yeah, that's actually not that bad then. I hope they don't end up inflating the numbers. Yeah, okay, so it says occasionally while wandering the halls of Castle Catastra, additional cat eye gem worlds may be obtained from rare spawning chests, which I don't think we saw any. Maybe there was one in the background I didn't notice. Merchants or workbenches, which we've seen the merchants in the workbench, uh, and we know for a fact we can't open the chest unless we end up crafting the key. Which, how much did the key cost? Okay, so it's inert geode, it doesn't cost the uh, gem world, so I'd be curious to see how much gem worlds you get out of that chest. Uh, there's also three initial non tradable mount upgrade things. Yeah, uh, yeah, we already talked about that. Wait, 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 this sounds weird. So they say each season a single non tradable mount upgrade delve unlocker can be crafted and or purchased from the aforementioned merchant and crafting table. I did not see it in the crafting table, so I'm not sure what they're talking about with that. Uh, but they mentioned that because you can get out of the crafting table and the merchant itself, it means that you could get eight of them per year, which is still insanely time gated and gross. Very, very rarely though, there will be tradable versions of these mountain lockers that can drop from Furious Fiona the boss. Oh my God, players are gonna go crazy for that. I, I mean, I guess, right? Like the only reason I would see that being useful is because we could use like Gonda or, you know, the Volatile Bounder in here. Because otherwise being able to just use your favorite mount in this area for vanity's sake doesn't really make much sense. They do also mention that tradable versions of all of the allies and mounts found in that crafting table can be dropped rarely from Furious Viona herself. Um, I don't know if the boss that we fought was Furious Fiona because there's just multiple boss types, but still very, very cool. This is definitely the highlight of this update. Kind of makes sense why they would 
try to uh, have the network update more recently um, because if they're going to try and push the delves so heavily. But again, I still think that they should overhaul all of the delves to not necessarily look like this dungeon specifically, but this is way better than the caves in general. I'd love to see delves just be custom dungeons with this amount of depth and detail to them, you know, whereas this one could still be the whole bale fire specific. But anyways, I've ranted long enough. Smash like, sub for more, buy the merch you want, support the channel, sign on, and stay up, everybody.